Hi team, Mr. Lambert here. In this video, we're going to be talking about the height of release. Height of release is the height above ground level or at its um, landing point uh, where a projectile has been released. Uh, the, there is no optimal height of release um, as there is for angle of release. Uh, but we must understand that the height of release has a direct relationship to the uh, required angle of release. And this is the case whether we're going for a target or if we're going for optimal distance. If we think about a basketball player who is trying to shoot a free throw, when we compare a shorter player to a taller player and the height of release in its relation to the angle of release, we can see that a shorter player will be releasing the ball from around about this point. The height of release is going to be a lot lower than a taller player who will be releasing the ball at this point. As we can see, because of this, the angle of release required is going to be different. The taller player can shoot the ball at a much lower angle of release than the shorter player in order to be successful. Other variables can come into play. Obviously not in a free throw because it's a fixed uh, skill, however, or a closed skill I should say. Uh, however, if you were shooting a basketball and there were defenders around, the height of a defender and the length of their arms may also play a part in the required angle of release. In activities when we are trying to uh, create as much distance as possible, for example shot put, um, a higher height of release uh, is more beneficial uh, than a lower height of release. For example, a taller person will allow the shot put to spend more time uh, in the air and this is why Paul Rogers uh, beat me in shot put when I was at school because he was six foot four and had much longer arms, much longer levers therefore he was able to produce um, as much force but because he was uh, letting go of the shot put at the higher height of release it meant that the shot put would actually spend a longer amount of time uh, in the air therefore it would go in this example, here I am at the top, I'm much shorter than Paul Rogers down the bottom. If we were to produce the same amount of force with our shot put, mine would land here. But because Paul has a much higher height of release, again the same amount of force would mean that his would land further down the line. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. If you do have any questions regarding height of release and its relation to the angle of release or speed of release, go and ask your teacher.